So welcome to Tech for Your Smartphone. Kind of like a best tech video, but there's no real price range, and all of this stuff is going to make your smartphone experience better. So if you do enjoy the video, be sure to let me know and I'll make more stuff like this. And with that being said, let's get started. So number one is the stable cam. And I don't think it could be clearer. This thing stabilizes your camera. It attaches onto your smartphone with these fancy little rubber feelers. And all around, it's a well-built device. It's made of plastic and metal, and it does not feel like it's gonna break anytime soon. The way it works is quite interesting. So the thing which kind of looks like the handle actually isn't, that's a weight, and it counterbalances your phone. So if you hold it by the finger grip over here, you get some pretty stable looking footage. So as an example, this is the before and after. So this is shot on the Galaxy S7 Edge, which is, as far as phones go at least, one of the best cameras out there. So even on the before shots, you'll notice the footage was stable, but afterwards there's a world of difference. There is still some vibration, but at least now every time I take a footstep, it's more like there's a little tremor as opposed to before where it's kind of like a full-blown earthquake is happening. Next up, we've got the Edifier MP280. This is a wireless Bluetooth speaker, and its build quality far surpasses its price. But first of all, this thing produces 360 degree sound. It's got speakers lined all the way around on the inside, and you can really tell when you turn it on. No matter what angle it's facing, it just will not sound muffled. The sound is clear, detailed, and bassy, and this is definitely gonna sound at least a tiny bit weird, but the outer casing is so smooth and refined that I could sit there rubbing it all day. Now it's not exactly the loudest speaker, but the battery lasts for just over 10 hours and it can even reverse charge your smartphone. So next up is the iPega Multimedia Remote. And there is an absolute sea of wireless Bluetooth controllers out there for smartphones right now, and this isn't exactly top dog, but in terms of value, it's tough to find better. The controls are all here. They're all high quality, they're all built well, they're all clicky and responsive, and they've got a decent amount of travel. The controller's got a matte finish, so it's comfortable to hold and doesn't pick up sweat or fingerprints too easily. As a little bonus, once you've downloaded their software, you can pretty much control the whole UI. So then we have this, and well, this is a really odd piece of tech. It's an enlarged screen, and it's probably not something you've seen floating around the place, but to be honest, I would have thought it's more mainstream. You literally just need to plop your phone in the back, adjust the angle, and you're good to go. All of a sudden, your 5-inch screen has become a 10-inch one. There's no wires, there's no electricity, and it just works. Unfortunately, it's not a perfect solution, because the edges can get a little bit blurry, and you need to be at quite a specific angle for it to work, but nonetheless cool. Now next up is the Blues 2S, which is quite a weird pair of earphones. The idea is, is that they don't actually go into your ears, they sit just outside and fire inwards. They kind of use a bone conduction technology to actually send vibrations through your face. You feel a physical impact when bass hits, it's kind of hard to describe but definitely enjoyable. The sound quality is good, but the main benefit is that you can hear everything going on around you, as well as your music. So for those people who run a lot, this is pretty much a perfect solution and it fits so comfortably on the head, you'll forget it's there. So a lot of you guys have asked me, which is the best VR headset for mobile? And I can see why you can get lost in it. They range from $4 to about $400. So the one I use is the Verglass. It's not perfect, but I found it to be the best sort of compromise between price and performance. It's got super comfortable plush cushions and even a bit of aeration going on. Now it's not actually gonna do any more than your standard Google Cardboard. It's just a more enjoyable way to actually experience the same thing. But if you do find yourself playing a lot of VR, then it is worth investing. And I think the number of VR games coming out right now, the rate is just increasing rapidly. So this one might just be your favorite. I'm not even gonna try and say the name of the company, but this is a solar charger. It's basically one gigantic mat filled with three large solar panels with a pretty high efficiency that can charge your smartphone. So it doesn't actually have any inbuilt battery as such, it works all on the fly. So if one time your smartphone battery is down, then you whip this out, open it up, and all of a sudden that red light will come on, which indicates that power is coming to it. And then you just plug your phone in. Unfortunately, it's not gonna charge at the same rate as the mains would. It'll charge at about 40 to 50% at that speed. But hey, it's free and it's unlimited, so who's complaining? So there we go guys, that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, it would really help me out if you just let me know. I'm trying to sort of go through a stage of aligning my channel, I'm just trying to make content that you guys enjoy more. And with that being said, I'm Mr. Who's a Boss, and I'm signing out.